you guys, this is Blacklist to the Abyss, and you're watching my review for Fairy Tale Chapter 391. Alright, and I enjoyed this chapter, I really did. It was pretty much just the fight between Grey and Silver. That's mostly what it was. We got a little break in between when it came to showing short scenes of Keith and Juvia and Natsu and Tempesta and, you know, the others, Gajil. Um... But it was mostly the fight between Grey and Silver. And Grey's trying to fight, he's trying to fight, he's trying to fight, he's using ice make magic, he's using all these different ice make attacks. But it turns out that Silver is an ice devil slayer. And slayers aren't affected by magic of their own type, so Silver is just devouring this ice magic and getting stronger, attacking Grey. Grey is getting all beat up. It's, it's this is not looking good for him, all right. Um, and then Silver does attack. Where? Oh, oh, let me go one step back even farther. Grey did this cannon move, this ice made cannon, and he shot uh, like rocks at Silver. So Silver's so like, okay, well, you're trying to hit me with an attack that has no type? All right, then. Boom, froze the entire place. And then Grace said, hi, I wanted you to do that. Because as I learned in the last arc, at the freaking Fire and Ice Island, the fairy tale version of Punk Hazard, this is the same. I've already done this with this ice where I can, even though it's not my ice, I can still control it. And harness it and use it. So Grey does that with this ice and he attacks Silver with his own ice. And since Slayers can't eat their own magic like Natsu can't eat his own fire, Grey is under the impression that that attack will work. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought it would because that would have been like typical fairy tale fashion. You know, the I, I was so I was so afraid that Grey would win there. In like a one shot too. That's so fairy tale. You know it is. You know it is. You can't tell me you didn't think that Silver was gonna lose there because this happens every single arc. Every single arc, no matter how much how strong a person is, no matter how few times they've been hit. This one one shot is all it takes. One shot is all it takes, alright? And I was I thought that, that would happen here, but it didn't. So that was that was good. Silver ended up like just Hitting just he the attack didn't do anything to him. He's like, yeah, you're you're okay. You're right. I can't eat my own magic, but eating it is like the only limitation I have. I can still do anything. I can still destroy it. You know, I'm, I'm still you know that's not the only thing I can do. All right, I'm still Deliora. All right, I <laughs> I've got other things I can do. All right, um, so yeah, and he had that cool looking face. Uh, and Gray's like, oh man, I, I don't know what to do now. And you saw the teaser text there that um, Ice Show might be the only way to stop Deliora. It's the only way to stop Silver. So either someone comes in to help Gray, or Gray uses Ice Shell, and then Hiromashima comes up with some stupid, stupid. Thing that's going to save Gray because, excuse me, because we all know Gray is not going to die here because he's in fairy tale, all right? And people in fairy tale don't die, it's just the way it is. And look at Makarov, Mak Makarov's still alive and kicking after all the stuff that's happened to him, after all the crap he's been through. Makarov is still alive, all right? And Gray is part of the main group, so we know he's not going to die, just like Wendy didn't die and Charles didn't die. And, and Happy didn't die when he got blown up by freaking uh, uh, Jackal back, like back at the beginning of the arc. Like, no. Nah. Alright, <laughs> these guys didn't die, and neither is Grey. If Happy didn't die, if Charles didn't die, then Grey's not going to die. I don't care what he does. He can shoot himself in the head and he'll still survive. Alright, no. Grey's not going to die. Alright. So I'm I'm thinking that someone's gonna come and help Gray because he's not using Ice Shell and if he does use Ice Shell it's he's not gonna die from it, which I don't want to happen. Some stupid some stupid plot device or some some stupid, stupid idea here Mashma comes up with to 
have Gray use Ice Chill but still survive. No, I that no, I don't know. I he just shouldn't use Ice Chill at all. He should be about to use it, but then get stopped uh, by someone who comes in to save him. I mean, uh, but who should save him though, and how can it be done in a way that it just it doesn't make Gray look bad? Uh, well, who cares? Well, that's that's a, that's a story for another day. I'm 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 getting a little too far ahead of myself now. Um, one thing I want to talk about though is the whole Devil Slayer thing. Cause I I don't know about you guys, uh, but I'm there are a few too many Slayers right now. <laughs> there are a few too many types of Slayers. There are Dragon Slayers. There are God Slayers, and now we have. We have Devil Slayers. Are there any other types of Slayers? There might be. I don't remember. Because we have the Seven Dragon Slayers. We have the God Slayers in Zancro, who's dead. Sharia. Um, What's-his-face in freaking Sabretooth, the Lightning Guy, Orga. You know, so we've got God Slayers. Silver is a devil slayer. I, is there another devil slayer? This isn't the first time we've heard of that, I don't think. Is, is there another devil slayer? I don't remember. I don't remember. Not a big deal. The point is that I don't care how many people are devil slayers. I care about the fact that there's a different type of slayer magic. I, I just... I, I, I don't know. I, I, Dragon Slayer was enough for me. Dragon Slayer wasn't enough for me. Then he brought in God Slayer, and I was like, oh, okay. Um, I doubt you're going to bring in a god that needs to be slayed, but, you know, okay. Yeah, actually, you know, the God Slayer magic is stupid. That's stupid. There's no, what, that, no, that, no, that's stupid. How can you, there's no, there are no gods in Fairy Tale to slay, so why have God Slayer magic? No, that doesn't make any freaking sense. The Spirit King, like, uh, the Celestial Spirit King, like, is, is, does he count? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Freaking, uh, Zeref? Like, it, it, I'm trying to think of people who would be considered gods, but... They're not really god. Like, it's... God Slayer magic is stupid, alright? If you wanted to have another type of Slayer magic, you could have just had Demon Slayer or Devil Slayer or whatever it's called. Alright, that's it. That and Dragon Slayer. Those are the only two you really need. I don't know why he has to have three. Um, and I also don't know why Marta Gile let him in anyway. They were talking about how Marta Gile acknowledged him, and but they never really gave a legitimate reason as to why Marta Gile would allow a guy with devil sl well, a guy with demon slayer magic into a guild filled with demons. They didn't, they, they just started to talk about it, but they didn't really give enough details, you know, they didn't give a legitimate reason for it. So, that's something we'll need to learn later on why. He's, Marta Gile is calculating, he's cerebral, he probably has some he has a reason for letting Silver into the guild, even though he has that magic. I just don't know. Well, maybe he wants to... I don't know. I, I... I'm thinking maybe in case he wants to turn against somebody, but I don't know who he, who he would want to turn against. Zeref? Like, why would he want to turn against Zeref? You know, I'm trying to think, like, if there are any demons he could take advantage of Silver's power... And then, like, control him in some way and have him use his demon slayer power on those demons. But I don't know what demons he would want to betray, like, go against and kill. You know, so I, I don't know. I don't know why Marta Gile would just let him. And I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. But the but for this chapter, those are the that's the big question. No, two, it's one of the two big questions. The first big question is how is Gray going to get out of this alive? Right, how is Delior slash Silver going to be defeated? Which I already have uh, addressed. And the second question is this. Why did Marta Gile let in to a demon guild a guy with demon slayer magic? So, um, 
uh, hopefully those questions get answered soon and in a good way, not like a really stupid way that doesn't make any sense. Hopefully, hopefully. Again, it's it's Hiro Mashima, so I don't really, I don't know how this is gonna go. You know, like sometimes he's really, really good, and other times he's really, 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 really freaking bad. I'm I'm talking like Lecter getting saved bad, like this, like real bad. Sting crying and becoming the freaking master of saber. I'm talking like that bad. Like sometimes he's bad. <laughs> All right. So, but sometimes he's amazing. So, I don't know which one of these two it's going to be. Hopefully, it's going to be amazing. Amazing, but no, I, mean, I don't know. I, you just don't know of him. He's so sometimey. You know, you just don't know of him. Um, but at this point, I'm just rambling on. So, yeah, I guess I'll just end the review here. Um, I'll give this chapter an 8 out of 10. I thought it was good. Solid, good chapter. So, an 8 out of 10. And uh, that's that, you guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.